Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be recreating this look right here. We're also going to be testing out the primer side and not primed side and see which one wins. Today we're going to be using the Violet Voss palette. This is the Holy Grail palette and as you will see guys, it is definitely the Holy Grail of colors. If you are looking for a palette that has a lot of good neutrals, a little bit of mauvey reds and something that is perfect to wear any occasion, date night, daily wear, going to work, going to church, you name it, you can pull off any look that you want. So without further ado, let's get right on in. All right, we've got some Bob content coming your way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start this video off by getting into the makeup look. All right, so for eyebrows, of course, we're gonna use my tried and true. This is the NYX. This is the professional makeup shade Cool Ash Brown. I'm really excited about this makeup look. So I actually did this makeup look when I was visiting my parents in Tulsa and I really enjoyed it. It was a very quick, easy look to do and it just, it looked great. But I'm gonna show you guys today with using primer on my eyelid on one side and no primer on the other so we can do a wear test so we can see an experiment with primer and show you guys the importance of primer. I used to be a no primer girly and I couldn't understand why a lot of my eye makeup would just crease and all just come together right in here and separate and because my lids sometimes can get really oily. So filling in this brow right here, this bad boy. Yeah. There we go. Of course on the bottom I'm gonna spool it out a little bit with this spoolie. How have you guys been? What is happening? Anything exciting happening in your lives? Any good news? My coworker just had a baby and I'm very excited for him and his wife. They're so wonderful. So they are just both such kind hearted, genuine, wonderful people. And I know that they are going to raise such a wonderful human being. And they had a boy and I can't wait to meet him. He is so adorable. He's only a few days old and I'm obsessed with the pictures that they post of him. So I'm very happy for them. Just trying to be a perfectionist a little bit here because I do need to get my brows done as you can see and obviously my lashes. <laughs> so again, we are going to be using this palette right here. This is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Holy Grail and it has beautiful shades. So again, we're only gonna use primer on one side. We're only gonna use the primer, and of course we're using Tried and True. This is the P. Louise. This is the base, and it is in the shade Rumor 0.5. So as you can see, you can see where my lids get really oily during the day, there's a lot of it right there. So that might have been a little too much, but we will see. And of course, just work it around here. I'm gonna try putting primer down below here this time and see if that helps with some of my looks. All right. We're gonna go in with the shade Thanks A Latte. Now I'm not going to set the same color down on this side because we're doing this test of primer on the eyelid and how it works. So we're only putting it on this side to set this. Now we're gonna go in with this brush here, fluffy brush like such. We're gonna go in with the shade hashtag. It's this orange, orangish one right here. We're gonna pop it 
So put it in your crease and then look up and just drag it over. And that is where you wanna stay with this. That's of course if you have hooded eyes. If you do not have hooded eyes, bless you child. Cause you do not want your eye look to get lost. Now actually, you know what I should do? I should do it differently on this side to show you guys what it's like to just do your eye look. But as you can see, you can see my eye look when I look right at you guys, this one, it disappears. I'm going in with a fluffy brush like such. We're gonna go in with the shade. Are you kitten me? Now we're putting it in the crease and again, just moving it over windshield wiper motions. Just because we don't want this look to look orange per se, but we do want it, we do want it to have a blend and look really nice and have a beautiful pop of color. And this is gonna be a really great look for a date night, going to work, honestly, wherever that you feel that you wanna wear this, you can. That's the fun thing about makeup. I love seeing all kinds of people wear all kinds of different styles of makeup and seeing how they play with it. I get really good ideas from watching other people. Now, as you can see, so for this side, I've been working with my hooded eyes to bring the eyeshadow look up so it doesn't get lost in my hood. And as you can see right here, you can't really see it. Now, a lot of people get surgery, I think it's called a bleep or bleep or something like that, to where it opens your eyes a little bit wider to where you don't have this hood. Kind of like Paris Hilton's eyes. And we're gonna go in with a little bit more of a brush like this. And we're gonna go in with the shade Teddy Bear. Not too much, but really bringing it down much lower to start with. It's really hard to do my eyeshadow the wrong way and having it disappear underneath my, <laughs> my lid. It's also really hard to blend over here. <sighs> Now with a brush like this, we're gonna go in with the Wine and Dine. We're just gonna push this on our outer V, drag it up a little bit, then bring it like such. And as you can see, everything is just blending together on this side. Nothing is going the right way. We're gonna go on the bottom with Are You Kidding Me? And then going in with that Wine and Dine. We'll of course blend this out. All right, so using a super fluffy brush, just buff that out a little. And it doesn't matter because we will, of course, clean this up later. All right, we're going to go in with the shade. Let's do cool beans. All right, using the back side of this, we're gonna use the shade. Let's do ploof. And I'll show you the shade here in a second. And this is the shade ploof right here. All right, so as you can see, this is a completely different eye look than this side. This side, everything just blended together. Here, I will show you. I'm gonna take what's left of that wine and dine shade and just Blend it together there. We are gonna take some eye makeup remover and just clean up. It's gonna set us up for success because we are going to attempt to do a wing liner today. Now I'm going to use the hand mirror for this in this attempt. I need to have a good base here. So I'm just, I just place it and I drag just a little bit. So I think you're supposed to start like this. And then connect it. 
I just made it worse. Oh my god. Probably would help if I did not have like super old <laughs> eyeliner <laughs> for this to go on a much smoother. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything more terrible in my life. There's like nothing I can do. <laughs> this was like the worst. This was the worst idea. Who let me do this? Which one of you let me do this? I heard somewhere though that you could take and you could spoolie it. Let's see if that works. I have like hair everywhere. Maybe I could blend it out. Ugh. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I do this beautiful look. And then I can't even do a wing eyeliner. <laughs> this is really sad. That's it, guys. I should keep my day job, huh? I don't know why I thought today that I could just do this and then it would look cute. I don't know what gave me the idea to, to think that I could do this. <laughs> the audacity of me. Do need to fix this eyeliner though. And I'm not gonna put any eyeliner here so we can just see the difference. But I do need to clean up my eyelashes just a little bit. So happy even getting them done tomorrow. <sighs> Hallelujah. <sighs> this was really stressful. Oh my goodness. That was like. Whew. We're gonna go in with the milk hydro grip. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade too warm. I don't know what this other word is. Warm something. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the foundation brush that the dog chewed. Now this is the first time actually getting shade matched for the Charlotte Tilbury makeup foundation broken out just a little bit. I've been a little stressed out lately. What do you guys usually do when you're stressed out? I Me, mean, sometimes I pick at my face. And I shouldn't. It seems to be settling in all my fine lines. I'm gonna go with one of these little brushes here just to get closer in. And apparently foundation lips are in, but we're gonna, only gonna do half of my face and see how everything wears down. This will be a fun little test. So as you can see, this is the side that has the foundation on it so far. I do not like the way it is separating right up here. It's starting to really just, I don't, I don't like the way it's sitting on my skin. So on to the next side. Uh-uh, move. You do not get back behind there, sir. There's no more. And as you guys know, I'm still trying to get to 500 and I'm doing a really big giveaway for getting to 500. So I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to give this stuff away. It is burning a hole in my pocket. Just trying to get a bit away to you guys. And I do think this is a good shade match for me. I think the girl at Sephora did a really good job. Again, half of our face, so we can see what it looks like setting it and not setting it. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel very cakey. We're gonna use today a different shade of blush. We're gonna use the NARS. This is in the color 
orgasm. Yes, you heard it right. I didn't realize how bright of a pink this was. Maybe we can tone it down with a little bronzer, huh? I'm trying to diffuse it here a little bit. It does diffuse really well. Maybe I just put too much on my brush. Give some glow. We're gonna go in with a bronzer shade. Of course, it is another NARS. This is in the shade Laguna. Just kind of warm up. Now, I personally like warmth around my forehead. Just my personal preference. Yeah, it's like really separating on my nose. Ugh. Just gonna use a fluffy brush to just kind of diffuse these together. I do want to try that mascara again though. I can find it. The mascara is the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. Another very super fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with Too Faced Highlighter. This is the Fancy Diamond. Down the bridge of my nose. I'm really getting it on the tip. I don't know why, I always love it. Just really concentrated on my tip. Just the tip. Just a little underneath here. And the Cupid's Bow. Now we are going to spray before doing our lips. We're going to do the Urban Decay All Nighter, but we are only going to do it on one side of our face. <laughs> do you guys see this? <laughs> it like, was spraying out foam. Oh, I think my sample is empty, that's why. We're gonna use the P. Louise Lip Pencil in the shade Sugar Coated. And I will show you what that looks like. It's a little bit lighter of a shade. I do like the way her pencils glide on very easily. I don't know if this shade might be too light. And I think this one might be too pinky. So we're gonna do on top of this, we're gonna do a different color from the P. Louise. We're gonna do the color Your Yummy. That's better. We're gonna use the P. Louise Lip Drip. I'm gonna wipe that off. because Unfortunately, it looks like the lip pencils will come off on this. Let's talk a little bit about this look. So, what do we think so far? I think it looks really beautiful. The way I was able to take the bronzer and kind of calm down that blush shade just a little bit and the way it's settled into my skin, it is not as bright, <laughs> my face pink, that it was before. The foundation is still starting to separate. Let's see if I can get closer and you can see it. Yeah, this is such a much better camera. You can see the way that the foundation has settled into my pores here. And it just does not, it's not working for me. You can see the eye look here. I'm going to close my eyes so you guys can see. Again, primer, no primer. And then line, liner, no liner. Primer, no primer. Going up above from the hooded eyes and not doing that. So the eyeshadow still looks really pretty. However, you can see where the look gets lost once I look straight on Now you guys. I'm absolutely loving this look. I do, however, feel that for some reason the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer did not for some reason do as well with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation this time. So maybe I'll try it out with a different primer and we'll see how that pairing works out. But I don't like the way it looks. 
it doesn't feel thick on my skin it just looks cakey and i've set this side with the loose powder from becca the hydra mist and refresh and this side i did not powder so we could and set so that way we can see how things melt down over the course of the next few hours and just do a nice little wear test i've got some food to cook i've got laundry to do and dogs to chase after <laughs> let me know what you what you guys think so far and i'll pop back in with a wear test and we will go from there all right guys i am back it is a few hours later and we're going to look and see what we think of the wear down of the makeup so now it's not as long as like wearing it as I wanted it to be, but now looking at my blush, the pink is coming out more now and it just looks, I don't know, it just, it's just really, it's really pink. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. Um, the lip liner lasted through my water and my Dr. Pepper. Um, the foundation, like other than right up in here, has settled nicely into my skin. It's not, it's not as bad as it was earlier. Um, I wanted to show you a longer wear of the primer. And here is me with the eyes closed. Primer, no primer with the eyeshadow. Um, this side, because I didn't have the primer, it did not blend well, it did not lay well. Um, you can still see the separation of all of the, the different colors and just the ombre effect. I did like wearing the primer below on my, on my lower lid, and my lash line. It really feels like it really feels like it made that color stick. So I did like that. Let's see here. The, uh, this side, because I didn't have primer and I didn't set it, it did kind of like, you know, come down a little bit and fall out. Um, using the powder to set my under eyes you can tell a difference in where this, you can see like the fallout from my mascara and everything. This not so much. Um, it did, the foundation though did settle into my lines, which I'm not happy about, but I digress. Um, this side here just looks more put together as a look and is definitely something I would do this look again for sure, uh, but with primer on both eyes and powdering and maybe try a different primer like we talked about earlier. But other than that, I'm I'm happy with how this look turned out and actually it turned out better than when I was at my parents' house and did it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this look and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, it does help put me in the algorithm with other videos. If you leave a comment, that helps even more. And if you subscribe and you share, you're the MVP. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, whatever it is that you're doing. And I will see you next time. Just the most wonderful, wholesome. Boys, I'm trying to film. Oh my God, boys, can you not chew on that? Like. Boys, we are gonna go in with. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm.